opinions on hockey from one of the most respected minds in the business. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com. Today we surprise the hockey insider himself, Bob McKenzie, with a little lightning round to get his take on everything NHL. Greatest deal maker in the game. In hockey, you got guys with MBAs and Harvard degrees and everything else and there's Kenny Holland who was a minor league goaltender back in the day and I think he's just fashioned himself a real niche in the game as one of the really bright guys. A lot of people thought when the salary cap came in, a team like the Detroit Red Wings would be in trouble because in the past they could just throw money at people. They draft so well and they make such good decisions in terms of development so Red Wings don't make a ton of deals but just in the overall deal maker in terms of putting a team together, Kenny Holland's the best. The greatest player you've ever seen? That's a toss up between uh, Bobby Orr and Wayne Gretzky. Gretzky dominated the game statistically like no other player. Like nobody's even going to come close. Like these Ovechkin, Crosby, Malkin, these guys can have 50 goal seasons and and 150 point seasons coming out the wazoo and they're not going to catch them. They're not going to dominate the way that, that he did. And Bobby Orr changed the way the game was played. Bobby Orr and Wayne Gretzky, I coin toss it any day. Greatest team? I've actually witnessed probably would be the Canadians in the late 70s. They were pretty spectacular. I think, again, in the domination factor, you know, you only lose five hockey games in a year. And I, and I realized then there wasn't as much parity in the league, but I, I still think that was the, the top. Who would be your all-star team? I'd have Sydney on the team. I'd have Ovechkin on the team. You'd have to put Malkin there. Those are the three best players in the National Hockey League. I think I have to put Scott Niedermeyer on. Nick Lidstrom would be the other defenseman. My goaltender on the all-star team, I would go with the old guy. Marty from Marty Berger. The NHL is talking about skipping uh, the Olympics after 2010 uh, and then that that has some players saying they're they're gonna think about skipping the NHL. Um, what's your take on that whole situation? Ultimately it's got to be collectively bargained. The, the NHL and the NHL Players Association only have an agreement that takes them through this Olympics. Uh, the Russian players in particular, Malkin and Ovechkin, have made it clear. We're going no matter what. We don't care. We'd suspend us. Do whatever you want. And you know what? I understand that to a point, but the flip side of it is it becomes a little bit of a leverage point during the negotiations for the next CBA. They'll have a million things that they want to do that are more important than international hockey and the Olympics. But at the end of the day, if that, if the, if that really means a lot to the players and the league doesn't want to do it, and then the league that, that would be in the league's eye, eyes a concession. And the way collective bargaining works is, if we give you a concession, what are you going to give us back? Maybe the players don't want to make a concession. In order to do that, we'll find out how much it means to them over the course of the next negotiation. So, long way to go on that stuff. Thank you very much. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you.